Starting in three, two, one, go. Welcome back, guys. We are in set number three, and this is quite an interesting match. Cal versus Calm, a PVZ on Neo Chain Reaction. Looks like both players uh, giggling a little bit there. Yeah, Calm looks hyped up. Yep, of course, uh, they are former teammates. Cal did used to be on uh, STX before he went over to Air Force Ace. So, uh, I don't know, maybe oh, reminiscing right. about old times, perhaps? God, that feels like a lifetime ago. I think it was. It was a lifetime ago in uh, Brood War years. Yeah. I think Cal has... I feel like Cal hasn't played nearly as much as, as I expected either. Um, yeah. What, you mean this season? Yeah. He's been played quite a bit, hasn't he? I don't know. Maybe he's just been caught up in PvPs and I just... Yeah, he does get a lot of memory. PvPs. Yeah, he w I think the stats just now were like 6 and 6 or something, so... Uh, he does get used a lot. I don't... Because I don't think Air Force A is actually, like, has any good Protoss players besides Cal. So, mm. like, they have to play him a lot. Yeah. Anyway, there's Calm. Calm is 6 and 4 this season. 4 and 1 versus Protoss, although those do inclu include a number of cheesy wins. Uh, you know, mining out the back door on Chain Reaction against uh, Brave. Um, Hydra busting Jangby. To name a couple. Yeah, you said is wait is Calm. You said is your favorite player. No, or Zero. Zero is your favorite. Zero player, is right? my favorite Zerg player. Although okay. recently I uh, I've been cheating on him a little bit with Roro, but you know we'll we'll uh, we'll not tell him that. Roro, why not Sulky? Sulky, man. No, dude, Roro. <laughs> Sulky's not a cutie. <laughs> Ah, he's been looking pretty good this season. Dude, it it's takes... actually nice because I think last season, um, Sulky sort of started to do well, but uh, you see some players sort of start to do well at the end of a season, and then the next season you have high expectations for them, but they totally don't live up to yeah, them. But yeah. for Sulky, he's been doing really well, so it's it's nice to see an up-and-comer like that. See, it takes more than just wins to win my heart. Ah, uh, a man of principle. Yeah. Anyway, looks like Cal will be the uh, purple Protoss here at the left side, and Calm will be the orange Zerg on the right side. They were in these positions when he uh, Hydra busted, or mined out the back, slash Hydra busted Brave. Let's see what he does here. 3 edge Hydra on this map has been quite popular. It's been quite popular in general, but I think particularly on this map, uh, as we also saw in that pretty epic game between uh, Jadong and Mini, I think it was. Anyway. You're like an encyclopedia of Brood War knowledge, man. Dude, I'm start I'm starting to improve bit by bit, you know? You know, cuz like throwing out all these references. It's awesome. I dude, I I I still like I still keep forgetting players and games and stuff, but I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Yeah, you know your stuff. I have to start paying more attention like before when I first started watching Brood War. I'm like really following it very closely in 2009. I knew like all the maps and everything like cold. But now when I just sort of watch it casually, um, one of the biggest things that frustrates me is not knowing the maps perfectly. Um, so that's something I'm trying to improve on. Especially since they change them, like, mid-season also. Yeah. So, like, I, like, just now on Outlier, like, it would looked a little bit weird to me to have the third base in a different position than it used to be. But, mm. uh... I actually had a really cool idea. Well, I think it's a cool idea. Um, <laughs> yesterday, I thought it would be, it'd be neat if they brought back a bunch of maps from like, I don't know, 2005 or 2006 no, or something. No, 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 I'm going to stop you there. You are treading on dangerous grounds. I am uh, notoriously opposed to old maps. Really? Even if it's like some nostalgia tour type uh, theme? If it's if it's like a themed event, then uh, like, okay, fine. But not for regular season, man. You just think like there are no good maps back then, or you just... You just want For the most map? part, yeah, there's like, like, what good maps are there from 2005? <laughs> I, I don't know, it doesn't have to be 2005, but... Uh, oh, okay, what what good maps are there pre-2008 that you would oh want God. to see in Pro League? You can't think of know. any, so you I can't think check. of any. I have to check. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we have, we do have a... If there were good maps, it would be a good idea. Yeah, if, exactly. That's the thing. If there were, but there aren't. There aren't. That's the thing. There are no good maps. It's like it's not that I'm some kind of you know age elitist where I won't do, uh, have a map that's you know more than three years old. It's just there actually just aren't good maps from back then. 
Anyway, um, looks like a uh, pylon block at the natural here has forced uh, Calm to place his uh, his natural hatchery off place. Although that's not going to make a huge difference. He does he did place the uh, the hatchery at the twelve o'clock correctly, and uh, it's only really going to affect the gas mining there, and he won't need that for a little while, so he should be fine. In the meantime, uh, we did see Cal actually go for the Nexus first, since he saw the 12 hatch, uh, and has gone for uh, Forge, Cannon, Gateway, or something like that. Don't know the exact ordering there. Yeah, is uh, Cal going to have to put like one or two more drones on gas because of that? What do you think? Well, he's going to put another hatchery down there anyway, so... Hmm. Uh, I'm pretty sure he left enough space for another one. I hope he did. In fact, if he ends up going 4 hatch Hydra, it will literally make zero difference. It'll be quite cool to see him do that, uh, a 4 or 5 hatch Hydra build. Um, because then obviously you get, you get the next hatchery a lot quicker, and you can just place it down there, and you don't get the gas at all. So, um, it's fine. Is it just me, or does it look like Calm could easily run by Cal's wall into the main? Um, probably. I'll have to take a look at it again in a second. I think that's just what happens when you spawn on the left on this map. Yeah, um, because you always want to have... Well, actually, how do Protoss... No, I think actually, now that I think about it though, even when Protoss spawn on the right side, they generally, like, they like to leave the gap near the ramp. I guess it just helps your reinforcements get out and like not get stuck on your wall or something. I mean obviously it's a double-edged sword, right? Like if you think your opponent's gonna try and you know do a Ling run by then obviously you wanna you wanna not leave that gap there. But since it looks like Calm is actually not going for anything like that, I think that's fine and later on it's it's just a little bit more convenient. Hmm. Anyway, Probe Guy is gonna get into the main base here. That's actually gonna be gonna be quite crucial. Uh it's gonna try and get blocked by two Lings. No, it's gonna uh... go in here. Tries for a drone block, but it doesn't work, and now he's going to scout everything. Which Does is, uh, I don't think he's seeing anything unexpected here, though. Well, I did. He, do you think he was close enough to see that Hydra den? I'm pretty sure he was. And I think, yeah, I think he saw it. Yeah, so this is going to be quite an, uh, a good indication of what's going on here, because, I mean, this is not the standard, you know, 3-hatch into Spire, into 5-hatch, and then Hydra den. This is a relatively quick uh, Hydralisk den. Now, this could be a number of things. This could just be a standard 4-hatch Hydra, as I was talking about. Although... Well, no, I think you do get the layer that quickly anyway when you're going 4-hatch. So this could be that. Um, he could be... I don't know, he might be doing some kind of cool uh, Hydra Lurker drop or something like that. Well, I guess we'll see. Yeah, now that he has a Ser out, um, he's got to feel a bit better because he can scout around and see how many Hydras pop out and when. Um, so he, sh he shouldn't be too surprised by anything that comes, if he scouts properly. Indeed, but if, since he did get that earlier probe scout off, he uh, is comfortable just using the first Corsair to, uh, to kill an Overlord here. Then he's going to go check out what's going on with Calm. So, uh, yeah, Calm doing a non-cheesy build for the first time in a while. Although, is this a Lurker drop? Is this a Lurker drop? No, it's a Scouting Overlord. <laughs> Hmm. I thought it'd be a little yeah, bit I didn't early. Yeah, I didn't think he had lurkers uh, that fast. Yeah, that that was a bit early. So, But this is actually very interesting. Uh, look at that, he's actually going to get a complete scout off of the base. Huh. I wonder if he threw those two gates up. It'd be pretty cool if he cancelled those two gates just to uh, sort of psych out calm. But no, it looks like he's going to let them keep building. Yeah, well, I mean, it's a pretty standard time to get your th third and fourth gateways. So... Um, you know, even if it's scouted, it's just like, you know, you'd expect that what? anyway, so I think it's fine. What it does interest me a little bit, though, is that the lack of SimCity at Calm's Natural, he just like, because actually, since that hatchery was blocked at the Natural, he put it lower, like, he put it below where the Natural Hatchery should be. So now you put the Natural Hatchery correctly, and then he built the Hydro Den behind it, but normally you see the hatcheries, like, placed further to the left, and then you can do, like, a little wall in which we're not seeing here, so I feel like he's left himself a little bit more vulnerable to attacks into the natural in the main. Uh, I mean, he can still put Sunkins like, in his natural mineral line and have them difficult to reach for results, but... Uh, yeah, it doesn't seem to me to be the ideal positioning. Anyway, looks like we have a bit of an attack here from Calm, uh, or sorry, from Cal, rather, going in right before the Lurkers finish with a bunch of Zelts, but it looks like uh, there are enough, uh, enough Hydras to stop this. Yeah, that pushes... Uh 
got repelled pretty easily, and Lurker's are gonna pop out soon and just reinforce his position on the map here and make it easier for him to uh, drone up, maybe take another base. Nah, I don't know, I kind of feel like... Well, Cal obviously wanted to do quite a bit more damage with this, these Zealots. Now he's just sort of scouting around the map, seeing if he can pick off anything, but... He's gonna have to wait until he has some High Templar, I think, now. And it looks like Cal is definitely worried about the Lurkers being dropped. He's got uh, anti-Lurker drop cannons placed on his mineral lines. Uh, th that's why you see those cannons kind of on the very edges of the mineral line. Like the one at the natural is right by that high ground cliff thingy. And then there's one kind of at the back of the minerals. Because mm. usually, uh, I mean, if you're placing like anti-Muta cannons, you build them directly in the middle of the mineral line. But uh, Lurkers obviously will burrow, uh, burrow on the edge. So you want the cannon to actually be on the edge of the mineral line in this case. And he's actually just left the probes there. That's a little oh. bit dangerous. Oh, yeah, there's I mean, still two lurkers there. There's no observer. It looks like another overlord's going to drop them on the high ground here. Cal is just letting his stuff die. And there are the two lurkers on the cliff here. Cal is just... What are you doing? Oh, what? Just run the probes, man. Oh, he's going to storm it down. But, dude... Yeah, he's losing quite a bit here. If those cannons in his main mineral line had finished in time, um, this could have been a lot better for him. Well, the hiders could have probably sniped it, but... Uh, yeah. He just sort of caught with his pants down, but it, like you said, he made that cannon there, so he should have been... Well, he was expecting this. And now it looks like he's gonna go for a big uh, doom drop here. Man, it was completely expected, and he still didn't react properly. That is just a little bit... a little bit sad. And it looks like, actually, it's just gonna be... Is it gonna be attack on the front or a drop? It could actually go either way, honestly. I mean, he could, like, poke yeah. the front. If he sees too much stuff there, he just loads everything up and goes in. It's, it's just a really flexible uh, strategy to he use on do. this map, just because of the architecture where th your main is just like, has this you know thin wall surrounding it, and that's it. Ooh, a nice storm on those hiders, though. Yeah, it reminds me of Eye of the Storm um, a lot, actually. Just those thin walls, so easy to drop over. Um, and I think what he's going to do is lurker up the front and then drop some hiders into the main. Oh, it's it's a fake! He's actually sent the overlords oh, in as a fake drop yeah. and now he's running into the natural. Very cool move. He's gonna suicide a lot of those overlords though to the Corsairs, but it might not even matter if he can just win the game outright. The Templar's coming back, the Zealot's coming back. Is it gonna be enough? The cannons have gone down oh. here. This move, reminiscent of what uh, Yellow did against, I think, Harangi on Fighting Spirit with like the fake overlord drop. Oh man, really nice strategy, but it might not be enough. I think most of the storms have been used, though, crucially. If he still had storms yeah. on those three Templar, he might be able to do something, but I think Cal is dead here. Yeah, I think he's expecting more storms because he's not making them into Archons, but the question is whether he'll get them out fast enough, and I don't think he will, because Calm, you can look at the minimap, he's just rallying more and more Hydras to Cal's base, and I, I don't think he's going to be able to hold on. Yeah, Cal is completely dead. Very nice play from Calm here. And, yeah, there go all the probes. Cal down to 30 supply against 65 of Calm. Yeah, I feel like this is very well executed by Calm. It's, it's very nice to see compared to these sort of... Uh, GG! And, oh, I just want to say, by the way, Blind War says I was actually correct. It was Yellow versus Harangi on Fighting Spirit. So, yes! Score one for sale. Man, I'm usually terrible with players and old games, but man, I'm on, I'm on fire today. Yeah, you are. Actually, no, you're not usually terrible. What are you talking about? Yeah, yeah. Don't be so hard on yourself. Dude, I I just uh, I sound less terrible because I just like I I say something wrong and then I wait for you know like Blind War or Bunjerin or a bunch of other people or Kiet to to correct me and then I like say what the correct thing is after looking at the chat. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. All right. So, let us go. I have a on question for you, Sale. How much? How much does orange juice cost for you when you go to the grocery store? Do you want to buy like a family-sized container of orange juice? Well, all right. If I get like the the car, like the regular-sized carton thing, it's I don't know, like two and a half, three pounds or something. I actually have no idea. <laughs> I usually just drink water. Oh yeah, that's that's a good practice. I should drink more water, but this morning I went grocery shopping and I went to buy this like family sized orange juice pack. Mm -hmm. Um actually 